Okay, hello and welcome. I hope everyone's doing well. I'm doing pretty good. Uh, so yeah. Um, we just finished Might of Magic 3. Uh, so I was humming and hurrying about what I'd be wanting to do next. And I sort of thought about it and I was like, well, since I did just finish Might of Magic 3 and uh, how that game functions is fresh in my mind. I may as well continue on with uh, Might and Magic uh, 4 and 5. Clouds of Zine and Dark Side of Zine. Uh, so yeah, that's what we're going to be doing. Um, as with Might and Magic 3, I have read playthroughs of this game and watched them also. But uh, it's been a while since I've done that. Possibly more than Might and Magic 3. So I am less familiar with this game than with Might and Magic 3. And I was already not very familiar with Might and Magic 3. Uh, but my understanding is this game, uh, these games are balanced a fair bit better than Might Magic 3. And um, they're maybe not as linear than Might Magic 3 is. We'll have to see. Might, I, I, I'm assuming they're going to be structured a bit better than that one. But uh, other than that, they're much the same with, you know, graphical improvements and sound and audio improvements. Uh... I've had to have a think about how I'm going to be uh, titling these because, okay, <laughs> this took me a bit to figure out how exactly these games work. So, uh, New World Computing, back in the day, uh, they released Clouds of Zine as the fourth in the Might Magic series. Then, after that, they released Dark Side of Zine, which is Might Magic 5. And then... After that, uh, they released Worlds of Zine, or World of Zine, which is a combination of the two games, uh, which they were always planned to work together. Uh, as I've seen one of the uh, playthroughs I've read describe it, whether you consider them two separate games which work together, or two halves of one game uh, that functions uh, together, it sort of depends, but yeah, the main thing being that, let me think. So the world of Zine, from what I understand, is it's it's a flat, like, rectangle, and uh, the games take place on either side of uh, this world. <laughs> um, and at certain points in the game, you can travel between the two sides. Um, though Dark Side of Zine is designed for higher level characters, um, so you sort of start off with Clouds of Zine, and then you go over to Dark Side of Zine when you've finished what you can with Clouds of Zine. And then when you've finished with Dark Sides of Zine, you can finish up quest uh, ends, which you weren't able to finish with just Clouds of Zine, and uh, get sort of a... Uh, true combined ending from both of the games. It's a very interesting idea. I have to wonder whether people who bought Clouds of Zine felt a bit if uh, miffed about it when they found that, you know, to be able to get the full experience they would have to buy a full other game. Um, because it's a bit more co it's a bit more to it than, say, you know, getting Pokemon Red or Pokemon Blue and it's just like, oh, you're missing a few Pokemon but you basically get the same story. Uh, <laughs> as an example... Uh, so yeah, um, I'm using the GOG version, which has them already combined. Though I believe you can go through the settings and install both of the two games separately, uh, but we won't be doing that. Um, as a note, since I bought this on GOG, uh, I was a bit confused, as usual, because along with uh, World of Zine, there is another one called Swords of Zine. Now this, Swords of Zine, is a fan-made campaign game based on the engine used for World of Zine. Uh, uh, from what I've seen, the reviews of it seem to be pretty good. Four out of five. Um, it's using existing... Uh, elements and stuff from the games uh they don't add any new artwork from what i've read or uh monsters or 
things like that. It's sort of like a remix, I guess, is a uh, appropriate word for it, of the uh, original games. You know, new world, uh, new areas, new dungeons to explore, and so on and so forth. Possibly a new world map? I'm not too sure. I haven't looked at it. I don't plan on playing through that. I know nothing about it other than that. So, yeah. <laughs> and just mentioning that to uh, help save other people's confusion, as I was. Because I was like, where do I start with this? To start with World of Zine. Uh, because when you load up the game, you'll start with Clouds of Zine. Uh, and I'll actually have to quit, skip a cutscene because it plays the Dark Side of Zine cutscene first. So I'll have to actually play the Clouds of Zine cutscene uh, first because when we get to the Dark Side of Zine ones, then I'll play the cutscene for that. Because it'll make a little bit more sense or, you know, it'll be more relevant to us. Uh, what else? I did try running this with um, with uh, Munt for uh, MT32 emulation. Uh, though, the GOG version of uh, World of Zine is a CD version, which comes with, uh, among other things, actual uh, voiced dialogue uh, for some parts of the game. So I did try to run it with Munt and with Roland MT32 uh chosen in the uh game installation settings but it didn't sound right uh there's fireworks which play off in one of the cutscenes and uh it was sounding like <laughs> the punch sound and someone going Ugh! and i don't think that was correct so we're just going by what the default settings are which sound perfectly fine to me um for the bit i've played we'll have to uh trust <laughs> We'll have to trust the base, the uh, default settings here. It was interesting to try, but yeah, I don't think it was uh, it was working correctly. That might have been me. That probably was me just uh, choosing the settings incorrectly. But yeah, anyway. Uh, do I want to read the uh, plot as given in the manual? Uh, sure. Let's see, because we didn't get any of that from the from Might Magic Three. I probably should have done that. We just kind of dived into it and we're like, what am I doing? Why am I here? What's all this? But, uh, yeah. Okay. So we'll just uh, read this here, if I can angle it so that we can get an entire page at once. There we go. Lovely. Okay, so. Uh, the Sixth Mirror. You and a small circle of friends have gathered at a local tavern in Vertigo to discuss the events of the last several months. Your conversation bobs and weaves among subjects in between draughts of ale, but the central topic is the vivid, recurring dreams you all shared starting eight months ago. The first dream arrived as a nightmare, frightening in its clarity and intensity. You all dreamt, dreamt that you were listening to King Burlock's advisor, Crodo, speak to you. It was as though he was talking from a great distance, and the message seemed to have been addressed to someone else. This message is not a dream. I am sorry to trouble your sleep in this manner, but I have no other way to commu communicate with you. A few months ago, a man claiming to be King Burlock's lost brother, Roland, arrived in court and announced himself to the king. I think there's a King Roland in uh, the Heroes of Might and Magic series, isn't he? The uh, good king, and then his brother is King Archibald. I don't think there's any relation. <laughs> I think it's an entirely different world. Roland had left on a mission into Mount Firestone many years ago, looking for a pa passage to the fabled Land Below the Land. That Roland should return home after all these years was very good news for the king. But I had my reservations. Where had he been all this time? And why hadn't he come home sooner? Suspicious of him from the first, I watched him tell tales of ancient treasures and works of power. The artifact that Roland talked most about was the, th was the Sixth Mirror. The Sixth Mirror was the only magic mirror that was made to be portable, and because of this it had no name. The owner of the mirror was able to step through it just like the other five mirrors, but he could take this one with him. The Roland That Roland was obsessed with the mirror became increasingly clear with time, but the king did not seem to notice. Rather, King Burlock began to finance expeditions to find the Lost Mirror. Many brave and powerful adventurers answered the call, but none succeeded. In spite of repeated failures, 
Roland urged the king to continue the search. As the search grew more feverish, King Burlock began to neglect his management of the realm. The king's health deteriorated, the servants grew lax in their duties, and the treasury ran dangerously low. I felt that I had to do something and do it soon. I resolved to sleep on it and speak to the king in the morning. <laughs> do something soon, but uh, I gotta have a good night sleeping first. That very night, I awoke to the chill kiss of dark magic being worked nearby. Rising to my feet, I gathered my robe and bowed me and quickly walked into the hallway. For there, I was able to hear muffled sounds coming from Roland's room. Cautiously, I crept up to Roland's room and looked through the keyhole. To my horror, I saw Roland sitting cross-legged, holding a black tome in one hand. From a charcoal diagram on the floor arose the image of a foul spirit in the shape of a knight with horns crested, cresting his helm. Roland was conversing with it in a harsh tongue that I did not recognise. I must have made some noise then, for Roland abruptly turned and stared hard at the door. I backed away from the keyhole immediately, and it is well that I did, for the door suddenly blew off its hinges and slammed against the opposite wall. Fearing for my life, I ran. I ran as fast as my old bones would take me, ran as though the forces of hell were at my feet, heels. They were, as I ran in the first corner of the hallway, screaming for help. The chill blast of Roland's winter magic narrowly missed me. We ran through the twisting halls of Burlock ca Burlock's castle, through rooms dusty with disuse and through armories filled with rusting war tools. I took a turn and found myself cornered at the end of a hallway with no means of escape. In despair, I turned to face Roland and raised my magical defences, knowing that he was stronger than I. Roland came charging around a corner and slowed down when he saw that I was cornered. Raising his hands above his head in preparation of a sorcerer's strike, Roland smiled and said, What's the matter, Crodo? Are you afraid of what you saw? Roland continued to approach me slowly. Feeble old man, your fear of magic you don't understand is a discredit to our profession. I understand your evil magic well, Roland, I said hopelessly, slumping my shoulders and bowing my head. I can't hope to win against such, match, with such, against such strength. With that I sighed, gathering my energies for one good blast. I looked up at Roland, who was still smiling and advancing, sighing again and threw my spell. The force of the Dancing Blades spell flying from me, pushed me back against the wall. Caught off guard, Roland failed to deflect the spell. The blades flew out from my hand, stripping the flesh from his body. Hope rose when I, within me when I saw what I had done to him, then despair when he still stood after the attack. Scraps of flesh clung to his grinning skull, and his one, one remaining eye glared at me. I knew then that Roland was undead, and that I could not defeat him. Who are you? I gasped, staring at the figure before me. Lord Zine, the monster said. Call me Lord Zine, King of the World, for that is what I shall be in a very short time. King Burlock, I began. We'll do as he is told, Zine finished for me, especially if he doesn't have you around to give him bad advice. There was nothing more to be said. Zine made a peculiar, a peculiar gesture with his right hand and then clenched his fist. I felt a pressure on my defences and on my head, which quickly grew intolerable. The blackness took me and I knew no more. When I awoke, I found myself in a tower on an island surrounded by water. From my window, I was able to see King Burlock's castle across the water. Every day, I see the search parties leaving the castle to look for the mirror and wonder if the king knows what Roland is or where I am. There is only one place in the world with a view like I have, and that is Baron Darzog Darzog's tower. Not Durzog's tower, from uh, Tales, of Tales of the... Uh, Swords Coast. Because of the materials used to construct the room I am in, I am unable to use my magic to escape. The only thing I can do is try to send these dreams to you and hope that you will hear and respond. I don't know what Lord Zine wants to mirror for, but it can't be good. I fear the ruin of the realm if he succeeds. You are the only people in the world with the power and resources to make a weapon capable of slaying Lord Zine in your laboratories in Newcastle. You must make haste. If Lord Zine discovers what you were doing, he will destroy you. With that, the dream ends. A very long dream. <laughs> this dream has been repeated several times for about two months, then never again. <laughs> it's very difficult to sleep. Jeez. The day about after you had your last dream, Newcastle was destroyed by a bolt from the sky, and all its, all its inhabitants were killed. Each one of you realised that you may be the only person left alive who received left alive who received the message. If you didn't do anything, nobody would. So you quit your jobs and travelled to Vertigo with your life savings. 
Here you were able to find training in spells and weapons, and here you met one another. You talk late into the night. Excitement and nervousness in your voices. As the conversation winds down, you are, and you are all getting ready to retire for the night, you agree that tomorrow is the day you will start your adventures. Okay. And the next part is for, uh, is for, uh, Dark Side of Z. So we will leave it there. Okay. Let's actually start with the damn game. Oi. Uh, yeah, we're going to be doing the CD version. Uh, my understanding is, well, that's got voices. Floppy version, uh, I'm guessing doesn't. I did play the floppy version briefly. See what the different was. Difference was. There didn't seem to be any difference. So, uh, I don't know. But we'll just do the CD version. And we'll skip that. Because that is for Dark Side of Scene. Here we go. It's already looking pretty... Pretty damn fancier than, uh, Might Magic 3. Okay. And we'll do other options. And then we'll watch the clouds intro. King Burlock. I am the king. When times were good and there was much rejoicing. Yay! But now, imprisoned in this enchanted tower by the sinister, self-proclaimed Lord Zine. <laughs> I'm unable to help you in these dark times. It is now up to you, adventurers, to right what has been wronged. <laughs> There we go. That music is great. I love it. Uh, also, I am going to have to adjust the uh, volume for this. <laughs> and of course, it's that time when every game, uh, every damn thing has got to have a reference to Monty Python in it. Because it's the law. Okay. Let's start a new game. And we'll choose one. And enter today. We've actually got multiple save slots. I wonder why I did have this in Might Magic 3. Um, I'm glad nothing went wrong in Light Magic 3, considering I had only one save slot. Uh... <laughs> um... I'll just call it Game 1. Whatever. Uh, Game Preference. Adventurer. W w warrior. Now, I did read what this does. I think Adventurer is like easy mode. Uh... It gives you bonuses to hit and uh more damage i think dealt so we're going to choose warrior because it won't mess with the balance of the game and there we go we are uh dumped into the game world we have a pre-made party we'll be swapping them out i believe the classes are all basically the same we can see an enemy in the distance there kind of looks like a bubble man Uh, I don't think it is a bubble man. Nope, it's a slime. Okay, get out of here. Right. Lady Geraldine's Tavern. Uh, yes, let's go make our party. Oh, wow. That's already better. Um, we've actually got, like, an interior in the, uh, tavern. I'll put text on. Okay. We've actually got buttons down here to, uh, control. That walk sound is a little piercing. Hmm. Okay. How does this work? 
Oh, hey. That's actually different sides to the table. Let's see. And the cup changes sides too. Cool. I appreciate that. Nothing there? No? Okay. Uh, in here? What the heck? What? Well, one person's uh, unconscious. How do I... That's really cool being able to go through doors and all that, but how do I... Uh... Oh, that was our... S what? Okay, they can travel in... Uh, they can travel from inside to outside. Uh... Is there someone here I can talk to? Hello, travel. Oh, there we go. Okay. Goodbye. We'll sign in. Cool. Okay. Uh... Let's remove everyone, and we'll create party. So, I'm going to create different characters than what we had in Might Magic 3, because uh, those characters are... They're not they're not who we're playing here. Uh, that means I'm going to have to come up with a new death. Oh boy. Uh, let's see. First thing, we'll create a knight. Um... Yeah, that seems all right. I'll swap the intellect there for accuracy. You could be a knight. Uh, let's see. Should you be? Oh, it actually shows skills down there. Swimmer. Right, humans start with swimmer. Gnomes have secret doors. Dwarves of danger sense. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Let's have, let's have a gnome knight. Oh. Looks like class. Did I not? There we go. Here we get arms master. Okay. Create. Uh. Hmm. Well, you're not a halfling, but I call you Mazzy. Uh, even though she'd probably be a paladin rather than a knight, but yeah. Uh, yeah, that leads me to think. So, music's still a little bit loud. I am going to lower that a little bit. Oh, how I wish these older games had in-game uh, audio adjustments. There we go. Uh, right, yes. So for my magic three, I had a knight, a paladin, a cleric, a robber, a druid, and a sorcerer. Uh, if I'm honest, the knight and the sorcerer did all the heavy lifting. The cleric was good for resurrecting people towards the end. Uh, the robber was good for picking locks. So we're going to have a, a cleric and a robber. Paladin, I guess, was fine as another frontline fighter, but he never really was as uh, good as the knight. And the druid was, well, not very useful. I don't know whether that would have changed in this game. It might have. Hmm. Uh, well, let's see. Roll. Um, I'm guessing. I mean, in terms of equipment. See, a paladin gets spellcasting, but a barbarian has more hit points. 
But I think a barbarian has more restrictions for armor and weapons. Or armor at least? Hold on. Let me have a look at the manual. I wonder whether this one's going to be more useful than the one in, uh... Might and magic. Uh... Three. Actually, let's see. No, there is some differences between the different uh, between the races apart from skills. So humans have no bonuses, no modifiers, but they get swimming. Elves have a minus two hit points modifier, but they get plus ten to thievery. They also get two spell points per level if they're a sorcerer. Dwarves have one hit point modifier per level. Uh, they have a thievery of five. They get minus one spell point per level if they're a sorcerer or cleric. And they get spot secret doors. Gnomes have minus one hit point modifier per level. Uh, they get thievery of 10, but they get one spell point per level modifier for sorcerers and clerics. And they get danger sense. Sense. Then half orc gets a plus two hit point modifier, a minus 10 to thievery. Uh, and minus two to spell points per level for sorcerers and clerics. Okay. Well, whatever. That won't make me change my character. Uh. Let's see. Where is... Okay, never mind. That does not have a list of items in it. Uh. Uh. Fine, whatever. Uh, let's switch luck for might. And we'll go... Uh, we'll make a half orc. Because we haven't had one of those. Uh, yeah, sure, you. And we'll make a barbarian. Uh, I am going to... Your intellect doesn't need to be that high, so we'll put that to speed. Yes, there we go. Okay, and your name can be... Hmm. Ah, fork. Uh... Actually, no, we had a half orc. We had Azag. He was a druid. <laughs> That's how useful he was in the party. I completely forgot about him. Uh... What? Oh. I did something dumb. Uh... Okay, there we go. Choose Barbarian. We'll call you Grimgore. I'm unimaginative. Everyone's going to be called named after something. Okay. Roll. We'll do a cleric now. That That is excellent. Um, intellect can be swapped for endurance. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's pretty good. Now, let's do... Uh... Sure, male, female. We'll do a cleric. Create. Um. Mm. Hmm. I don't want to just keep taking names from uh, Warhammer. 
<laughs> but I go to do that. It'll be Isha. Uh, okay. Now we'll have a robber. That could be a dwarf male. Uh, wait, hang on. Holy crap, that's actually kind of impressive. They have two portraits for dwarf males, and neither of them have a beard. It's incredible. <laughs> Breaking new ground here. Um... Okay, so luck is the most important stat for a robber. So we'll change the endurance over for luck. Uh, the personality will be... Uh... Now, hang on. Did I save the other character? Massey, Grimgore, Isha. Yeah, I did. Okay. It's actually saving the... Did it save the stats? Whatever. Uh, luck. Okay. Uh, actually, let's re-roll that and see if we can get some higher numbers. Okay, put the personality into endurance, keep the speed, keep the accuracy, keep the might. Sure, uh, and you were going to be a dwarf male. Here we go. We could choose this one. Create. Uh, name for this character. Um, we'll call you Flint. There we go. Kudos that people will know what I drew, pulled that name from. Um, now we need... So we've got a knight. We've got a cleric. Did I make a paladin? Hold on, what was the classes I made? Let's see, we've got... Seymour. Uh, okay, so a cleric, a knight, a robber. No, that dwarf has got to be it. Some of these portraits, maybe are not in there. A cleric, cleric, robber, knight, barbarian. That's right. I chose barbarian instead of a. Uh, Paladin. Okay. Uh, yes, I know. Pretty. Okay, so now we need two more. And we're going to do a sorcerer. And... Mm. Part of me wants to take a druid again. Or maybe a ranger. Uh, so I can have the walk of water spell. That was the reason why you took druids before. Otherwise, I would need to have a item which gave me walk of water. On the other hand, I would like to take something else. So, like an archer, I could take a ranger instead, actually. Um... So, let's create, uh... We'll do an, another elf female because I want all these spell points. Uh, and we'll do... Let's see. Keep rolling. There we go. Intellect 200. Hello. Welcome, welcome. Yep, we're playing uh, World of Z. I hope you're doing well. Let's see, so I get I can use my experience for my magic three now. I know uh speed's gonna be important, because I want you to hit quickly. Uh accuracy's not so important. Uh your stats actually might be alright. Um I might change the personality over for accuracy? I know I'll change the ac actually I'll change that over for luck. Uh, I'll change the might over for endurance. 
And you could be a sorcerer. There we go. Create. What what can your name be? Hmm. Hmm. You think they made Walker Water standard for sorcerers? Oh, okay. Right. Well. No need to worry about that then. got a name, though I'm going to have to look this one up. Okay. You're not human, but we're going to call you Escarina. There we go. Okay, now one more character, um, which I think it's going to be a druid, uh, a ranger. So, uh, that's going to be accuracy, I'm guessing. Ranger, archer type, I guess. Um, though you're also going to be a, like a kind of a frontliner. So, I want might. Let's swap speed over for accuracy. I'm guessing you're going to use personality for spells. So, yeah, let me see if I can get something. Okay, that's looking good. Uh, yeah, swap luck over for luck over for might. Uh, intellect over for luck. <laughs> With all this swapping around and all that, it's basically, you know, why even have rolling? You should just, like, choose your stats yourself. It, it, it clearly doesn't matter. Uh, um, let's actually change luck over for endurance, and we'll put uh, the luck stat in for personality, because you use that for spellcasting. I'm pretty sure. Actually, no, hang on. No. No, no, that won't work. Um... You need luck to be a ranger? No? see. No. 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 No, intellects. Do you need higher intellect? Hang on. Rather than me guessing, let me just have a look at the manual. That's the smart thing to do. They knew people would sit there pushing the button so they can be max. Yeah, well. <laughs> it doesn't have the option to, like, save a roll. Okay, let's see. Rangers. Prime statistic. 12 or greater. Intellect, personality, endurance, speed. Ooh, okay. 
So you need at least 12 in all three of those. Uh. Yeah, there we go. I guess? I'd really prefer to have higher might, but, uh, sure, whatever. There we go. And you can be... Do I have another human in my party? Um... Yeah, you can be a ranger. There we go. There we go. And your name will be... Uh... I don't know. George. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's fill in our party. Uh, Razzy, Grimgore, Isha, Flint, uh, Escarina could be last. George and Escarina. There we go. Okay. So we've got a gnome, half-orc, elf, dwarf, human, and elf. I kind of would like to have two humans for swimming so that we can swim across water, but we'll probably learn that pretty quickly, so it's not a big deal. There we go. And I just realized we should probably uh, have taken the items for the previous characters. <laughs> oi, oi, oi. No, I didn't want to press. Hello, there we go. Goodbye. Let me just uh, swap someone out. <sighs> you thought we were going to start... You thought we were going to make progress. No, you thought wrong. I don't remember who the uh, party members who they started with were. We'll just... take these guys. I think that's them. And we'll just, uh, take all their equipment. Oh, they've got different pages for equipment. And they, okay. I was going to say they changed position, but that's just because I'm removing them. Oh, I can't get them all into your backpack. <laughs> These are the people who, uh, were having the dreams and all that. Uh, but then our party came up, <laughs> beat them up, and took all their items. Hello, travelers. Goodbye. Okay. So remove, 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 remove. Uh, I don't actually need to like be careful about the order I put them into the party. I can just uh, do that whenever. Is there a list for like everything? I might have forgotten to take some of the some of the things out of the other people's um, inventories because they're on different pages. What is this? Okay, you don't have anything. All right. Because I've reminded myself about that. I actually do want to check the other characters' uh, inventories. So we'll be removing everyone again. And adding in the... Uh, 
original party, just so I can make sure that I've uh, stripped them of absolutely everything. Uh, you have a club. Yeah, there we go. You're hiding a belt and a ring. Okay. Got a belt and a ring. Daggers. And a short sword. Yeah, I should do that. I just... Okay. Okay, good. Nobody's got anything. Hello, Trav. Goodbye. I don't have to leave the inn. Um. Oh, I guess not. No, no. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I've been burning uh time doing that. I could just do it here. Oh well. Because I'm guessing like a week passes when. <laughs> Or a day passes whenever you go into the, uh, inn. Okay. Actually. No, I don't think I can swap items over in here. It doesn't seem to be letting me. Okay, get out of here, you. And we need... Grim Gore back. There we go. Okay. What's the time? <laughs> day eight. Good. <laughs> We've just been spending <laughs> the last eight days <laughs> going in and out of the town. <laughs> uh, wonderful. Okay. Uh, let's exchange. So... There we go. You're the cleric. Nope, that's fine. Okay, good. Uh, it might be able to swap items around. Maybe I was just doing it wrong. Okay, let's see. So, uh, we have a short sword. And, uh, I'll go to Mazzy. Uh, actually, no, we've got a saber. That's better. Uh, short sword can go to flint. Uh, cudgel. I don't know. The ranger? Actually, no. The cudgel will be for, uh... I wonder if... No, I don't want to discard. I thought that was a description of it. <laughs> um, I wonder whether the items have changed stats between... Uh, Might and Magic 3 and this one. Actually, don't. No. Hand Axe to you. You can have the Saber. Equip the Short Sword. You can have the Short Bow. And you can have a Dagger. And you can have a Claw. There we go. Okay. Armor time. Uh, scale armor. Barbarians might not be able to wear scale armor. Oh no, they can. Okay. Give those to you. Give the boots to you. Give the helm to you. Uh, equip the boots. Equip the gauntlets. Gauntlets, leather boots, helm. Uh, 
Uh, I guess boots. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let's see. What, who's missing what? Right. You can equip a pair of boots and these robes. Leather boots can go there. Leather boots can go there. Gauntlets can go there. Uh, do I really have another pair of scale armor? Okay. Uh, shield to you. Ring mail. Okay. Oh, you can wear scale mail. Okay. I think that's better. Equip that. Equip those. Equip the shield. Equip the ring mail. Equip the boots. Everyone have boots? No. Grimgore doesn't have boots. There we go. Uh, okay. Belts. Belt for you. Belt for you. Uh, silver ring for you. Silver charm for you. Swift ring. Uh, for you. Leather belt. Leather belt. Whip. Leather belt. There we go. Okay, I think that's everything. Let's, uh, save. Okay. Do we have Korax notes about this? Auto notes. No auto notes. Items. No quest items. Quests. No current quests. Okay. Off we go. Uh, what's the map of this place? Vertigo. Okay, interesting. Yeah, it does show the interiors of the buildings. What's this? Welcome to Vertigo. Sadly, most of the population has left because the town is infested with pests. A couple of years ago, I hired Joel, the exterminator, to rid the town of this menace. But the problem seems to be getting worse. Perhaps you can help. Okay. Uh, sure. We'll help you, Gunther. We have 800 gold and 10 gems. Uh, let me see. Is that a quest? Read Vertigo of the Plague of Pests and report back to Mayor Gunther. Vertigo 14.5. Oh, it actually gives us their coordinates. Okay. Yeah, I can see some of them over there. Thylon's training. Hello? Looking to train? Oh, yeah. Well, we don't have any experience, so. What? <laughs> Display case. Who will steal? Apparently, I could steal that. I could search a <laughs> search a tree. Uh, sure. <laughs> we find nine gold in the tree. What about this one? Ten gold. What the heck's that? Where to? Oh, that's a magic mirror. Where to? Uh, red hot. Destination unknown. No. Oh. Seven gold. Four gold. Seven gold. Milo's maps. Hmm? I will teach anyone cards on her for one hundred gold. <laughs> this voice acting is going to be wonderful, isn't it? Uh maybe not right now. Oh, jeez, hello. Uh, cast. Magic arrow. There we go. Two 
years ago, I came to this town on contract to control the vermin infestation. It has been a long, hard job, but I've just about got the situation under control. Okay. Five gold. Anything out here in the middle of the park? There's a bench. <laughs> One gold. Six gold. But you actually have to go to the entrance. Path finding for twenty five hundred gold. Nope. And I, I'm having to press space to like activate these buildings and these trees. It's not something which just happens when you uh go up to them. Unlike Might and Magic uh, 3. Oh, it's the bank? Safe and secure. Uh, I'm going to hold on to my stuff. I don't need to put it into the bank just yet. Is that the mayor again? No. I'll put anyone on the guild roll for free. Dues will cost 25 gold, though. Hmm. I don't know what that's for. Is that for the, uh, mage guild here? Oh, look, they got a pillow. <laughs> pillow and fold a blanket on the bed. Nice. Welcome to the guild. I have to be a member. Okay. Yeah, is that for the, uh... I'll put anyone on the guild roll for free. Dues will cost 25 gold, though. Sure. You... Uh... I'll put anyone on... You... And anyone on the guild roll you. Welcome to also the nice that the shop is open uh whenever. Let's see, let's have a look at just spells. Kind of expensive. Energy blast, insect spray, jump, shrap metal, sleep, toxic cloud, wizard eye. I recognize shrap metal from uh Light Magic 6. That's just like a shotgun blast of jagged bits of metal. <laughs> Woo, eight gold. Woo, one gold. I fully expected one of those trees to like spawn a powerful monster. No, let's not leave here. We should probably clear out the town first. Open, great. Oh, well, okay. Flint's dead. Uh, can we heal him? First aid. There we go. Great. Uh, Flint. Nothing here. Holy moly. These sound effects are a bit piercing. I might have to fiddle it around with them. See whether I can improve them. If this is just a CD audio. But I did do that with the month stuff and it was still a bit... It did sound right. Hmm. It's just like the chirping which is going on, which is kind of annoying. 
Nothing in there. Uh, you. No, you don't have any spells. You just got light and awaken. Search the bed. Nothing here. Okay. Oh, hello. George is unconscious. Nothing in there. Okay. More insects in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. What is this? Hmm. Nothing jumped out at us. Oh, we found a gem. Just a single gem? Actually, no. Is that an item which you could equip? Gem of sleeping. Okay, that's, uh... That could be useful. I don't think- uh, I don't seem to need to equip that. Oh. That's not good. Help. She's dead. Uh. Where's the temple around here? Here? No, that's the store. Here we go. What do you mean, slime temple? May we help you? Yeah, here, please. Thank you. I recognize that sound effect. <laughs> More Monty Python. Okay. <laughs> Wait, did that buff our entire party? And I like that the icons appeared, uh, on the swords there. That's useful, if so. I don't need to, uh... Yeah, I don't need to, uh... Donate once for everyone. I just need to, uh, do it... Uh, I, I don't need to uh, get everyone to donate to get their buff. Nothing here. Nothing here. Oh, you see those little heads here on the screen. Uh, I believe... <sighs> Those are sort of telling you whether it's a good idea or a bad idea. Um, at the moment, I think it's kind of useless because we don't have a skill which sort of helps us decide whether it's a good idea or a bad idea. But, uh, I think there's like a precognition spell, uh, skill or something which will, which will, which will help with that.
Hey, we found a cake. No, I meant to. Okay. No, I have to uh, turn around if I want to examine the pile I'm standing on. Otherwise, I'll the gate overrides it. Okay. Is that everything around here? Ooh, plate armor. Uh, oh, you can have that. Uh, remove, equip, scale armor. Yeah, you can keep that, whatever. Uh, dagger, you can give that. Okay. I like these improvements. Walking around town feels... a lot more like it's an actual place with buildings rather than just... sort of... halls and rooms which all look the same. Joe's storeroom. Holy crap! Get out of here. Okay, good. We were able to kill that. Whoosh. Oh, there's another one. Not enough spell points. Oh, oh, bugger. Come on, hit. There we go. Those giant grasshopper things, get out of here. Oh yeah, that was something. We don't have alignments in this. I did have to choose like good, neutral or evil. Uh, that's one less thing I have to worry about. Not that it really mattered much in my Magic 3. But... Okay, um, should I check in all of these crates? Sure. Ring mail. Nothing here. Nothing here. I mean, we need all that we can get, right? This is just part of our payment for getting rid of all the bugs. Oh. Especially if there's bugs inside of the crates. Hey, Cutlass. Chainmail. A box. <laughs> a box inside of a box. Broadsword. Doombug. I don't think anyone in my party can equip that. I think they'll both... Hmm. Inside the crate, you find a piece of paper that reads Breeder Slides, one mate and pair, 287, five doom bugs, and 145 each, 725, total, 1012 gold. It appears that Joe has been buying monsters and distributing them about town. Mayor Gunther will want to hear about this. Oh, wow. There's actual some complexity to the, po to the uh, quests. Amazing. When did this game come out? Like, maybe a year later? <laughs> Such advancements. Okay, they're all open. Uh, let me go... Let me just sleep out here in the street. Hello. 
up vertigo and discovering Joe's treachery. <laughs> now it makes sense why the extermination of the pest was taking so long. I present you with the Outstanding Citizenship Award and this treasure. Congratulations! Oh, one more thing. I have received a message from the dwarves who reside in the Red Dwarf Range. They have urgently requested help and promised great reward to whoever is brave enough to come. Apparently, their gem mines have been invaded by the Mad Dwarf Clan, preventing them from mining. Help them out and report back. Yay! 5,000 experience each. 4,000 gold, 50 gems. Yay! We done good. Also, I have to remind myself that the uh, text isn't advancing uh, automatically, so I have to actually press the spacebar or something to uh, advance it. Uh, advance it. Uh, sorry for uh, leaving it lag behind there. What Hello. You want? You're open all time, all day, all, all hours. That's nice. What have you got? Grand Axe, Longsword, Longsword, Nunchuckers, Lapis, Flambo. Ring Mail, Robes, Plate Armor, Splint Mail, Plate Mail, Plate Mail, Plate Mail, Plate Mail. Clover Scarab. I think I might want to do training first before I start buying stuff. Maybe you can wield a long sword. Sure, buy a long sword. Oh, okay, it just swaps uh, from inventories and all that. Okay. They broke my boots! Okay, let's have a look. Uh, let's see. So you have a saber. Longsword is probably better. Uh, gauntlets, leather boots, helm, shield, plate armor. Accessories is leather belt and silver ring. Okay. You got a hand axe. You could do with a shield. And you. And you. Um. You could take a broadsword. You can remove that and equip the cutlass. Uh, give the short sword to Mazzy. Longsword can go to Grimgore. Equip your dagger, just so that you're not punching things. Okay, that's fine. Frost cape. Frost resistance. Mazzy can have that. Uh, you've got ring mail. Can you... Hmm. Okay. Now, because I don't have uh, a another uh, document prepared just yet, I will I will do that before the next session. I am going to use the white magic three chart for items and all that. Things are probably going to be different, but uh, it will at least give me a broad idea of at least the order they used for a previous game. Okay, so ring mail is worse than chain mail. Uh, let's see. You are a robber and you're wearing scale mail. Well, chain mail is actually better than scale armor. Scale armor is four, where chain mail is six. So, yeah. Uh, equip that. I mean, I can just check your stats. Your AC is nine. So, if I uh, remove four, equip two. Your AC is 7. Yeah, okay, that holds. True. Move. Equip. There we go. You can just... 
do it the old way and check stats. Who would have thought? Okay, Frost Cane. Equip that. Uh, plate armor's still the best. Around. Okay, cool. Uh, do you have any weapons? You have a hand axe. Don't need that. Okay, let's see. Weapons. Uh, so. I have a saber. That in three did four to eight. A broadsword deals three to twelve. So it's more consistently higher damage, but it's uh, less overall. I'll quit the broadsword. Uh, what do you have? You have a longsword. That's uh, three to nine. That is better. Cudgel? Now, is a cudgel better than a club? Yes. The club is one to three. Cudgel is one to six. You have a cutlass, which is one to six. Uh, I will give you the saber, if you can wield that. You can? Cool. Equip. Uh, what can rangers use? Mace, maul, spear, fly, flail, dagger, cudgel. Quite a lot of items, actually. Rangers can wear up to splint mail. Okay, so you've got ring mail. Okay, do I have chain mail you can wear? No. Okay, that's fine. Uh, what about misc? It's just the... Ooh, there's a box. Box of trap metal. Okay, boxes, yeah, they use one hand. It doesn't increase AC. I mean, I guess for the spell, that's kind of useful. Do you have to uh, equip that? No. Okay. Now I said it actually tells us the number of charges it has there. I don't think Might Magic 3 did that. Okay. What do you want? Uh, I want to sell. Sell short sword, sell hand axe, sell cutlass. Yeah, sell the scale armor. Sell the ring mail. Actually, what's uh what are you wearing? You're wearing scale armor. No. Let me uh give you this ring mail, since that is better than your scale armor. Remove. Ring mail. Equip. Armor. So. You have scale armor too. Okay, I need to get you something better. Let's see, buy. Paying an extra thousand for like two more points of AC. Hmm. What about accessories? Glowing brooch, icy ring. Uh, glowing might be energy resistance. And icy is cold. That could be plus five. Do I want that now? I don't know. Uh, you got a katana. A longbow. I'll buy that. Uh. Oh, hello. Welcome, welcome, Lothar. Thank you for the... Thank you for the, uh, resubscription. Nine months. 
Thank you very much. I'm, I'm very, I'm very grateful. Hello, welcome, welcome. I hope you're doing well. We're doing more, uh, Mike Magic, because I decided I may as well continue with the series while the, uh, the, while Mike Magic 3 is still fresh in my mind. Doing all right? Good to hear. You think you might have actually played this one? Oh, okay. <laughs> I'll be looking for any help which uh, people can provide me. I've watched playthroughs and read playthroughs of this game before. But I am less familiar with this one than I was with Might Magic 3. So... <clears throat> Let's see... Yeah, okay. Uh, the, only the knight can use a katana. Knight, paladins, and ninjas. Okay. Um, actually, I don't think he's got any shields. No, he doesn't. Can get you a grand axe. Or a glaive. Glaive is 4 to 12. Grand axe is 3 to 18. Um... I mean, because you don't have a shield, maybe, but... What have you got under miscellaneous? Sparking, toxic clouds, and holy bonuses. Whistle of holy bonuses. That could be useful, but I think we'll get the spell holy bonus not too soon. Okay, I think that's fine for the moment. You remember nothing, it was decades ago. Yeah, I can't remember when I last watched a playthrough of this. It would have been at least a, a decade ago. I remember these dwarves which we've been tasked to uh, go and have a look at. Uh, it's already impressing me a fair bit with how much nicer it is to look at. It's got a lot more going on than, uh, Mind Magic 3 had. First Town is... It's actually got, like, some, like, unique flavour to it. Who will drink? Mazzy. You feel refreshed. Wow, the well isn't killing us. Amazing. What's this? Another park? I will teach anyone pathfinding for 2,500 gold. Okay. No, oh, I don't want pathfinding. Oh, pathfinding is to get through forests, isn't it? That will be useful, but once I get a bit more money. Yes, I need to map out the entire area. Don't understand. Okay. Wow, okay, Flint's just dead. Wow, okay. Help. May we help you? Yes. People are uh, unconscious or dead. Escarina's dead. Bring it back. Thank you. Can I just, like, talk to them from here? No. Okay. I'd be doing good in that I'd be going up to the altar to talk to them. Nothing in there. Nothing in there. Did I get paid for clearing out all the... All the, uh vermin in town when I only cleared out half the town. <laughs> I don't have to do, like... Oh, I guess it's a trap on the door which is knocking Flint unconscious.
How many hit points do people have in it all? 11, 16, 5, 10, 12, 3. Yeah, right, no wonder Escarina's dying. At least my healing spells are healing her to full health. Please kill it. Thank you. Get lost. Can't you see I'm drinking? <laughs> well, powered on me. Oh, this is a tavern. Get lost. Can't you see I'm drinking? <laughs> They've got people at each table. This place is deserted. You should go to River City. Now there's a town full of action. Some fool said that money is now growing on trees. Ha. Huh. I guess that's why we've been finding gold in the pot plants. Yeah, boss. Can't you see I'm drinking? That Gunther, what a dunce. He paid that godman Joe a fortune to clean up this town. He still paid us, so that's fine. He... he... breeds... breeds them in the warehouse. Okay. <laughs> we searched the beds. Nothing here. We found a jewel. I like that. It's actually like... it's a personality. What have we got? Robes. Okay. Don't need those. Uh, jewel, jewel of Cure. That'll be useful. I think that's, uh... Curing. Oh, hang on. Is that Poison Cure? Yeah, okay. Or is that just, like, curing weakness or something? Is there anything else which I'm missing around here? It's like a back part to that building which I haven't gone in. Maybe I can't? Oh no. No, no, okay. I just hadn't been over there. Uh... Hold on. Okay, there we go. Oh look, the map's actually animated. You can see the uh, torch on the wall flickering down there. Is there people on these pews? Nothing here. Nothing here. Nothing here. Oh. The plague is upon us! Hmm. Okay. What a nice place. Uh, I think that's everything around here. Oh, do these benches? Pest control by Joe. Slime lords shall rule. It's graffiti on the backs of these chairs. This space for red.
I haven't gone in here. Wonderful. Okay, here we go. Jail. Nothing here. Nothing here. Okay. Uh, right. Well, I guess we'll uh, start exploring outside. However, I'm going to have to uh, take a quick break. So I'll pause the recording here and I'll be back in a moment. Okay, we're back. Uh, let's see. Do we have quests? Items. Quests. Oh, it's actually, uh... Kept track of our, uh... Quests automatically. So, we've, we've completed it, so it's not on here anymore. Nice. Auto notes. Hit points restored at Vertigo, 1417. Oh, nice. It actually uh, lists down the fact that the uh, well apparently healed me. Uh, that's really useful too. Okay, do I need food? Let's see. I have four days of food. How much food will the uh, tavern give me? Peasant fare, stale bread and dry cheese. A full pack will last five days before going bad. That is worse than it already is. Really packs for 10 gold? No, because we've already got, we've got four days, so that's not much more. Get, there we go. Okay, let's head out. Leave? Yes. Here we are. Okay. Well, that hasn't changed. And, and it's not asking me to go into the city automatically. Uh, the mountains, they look the same, but like the palette colors changed. Now I can actually go through the forest. What the heck? <laughs> well, there's a new world computing fountain. And, uh, the edge of the world? <laughs> Okay. Fountain of protection. Who will drink? Plus five armor class. Permanent? Probably not. That'd be too good. Oh, hello. No, oh, great. Hey -o. Why do you even have a spear? There's something over there, but I can't swim across the water to get to it. What's this? Okay. <laughs> These trees are really in your face. I'm pretty sure that's just the same sprite, but increased in size. What's this? Waters of power. Uh, sure. More hit points, that's nice. Please hit. Oh, 
There we go. Interesting, like, staticky effect on the enemies when you hit them. What? Press Control plus F4 and enter to continue. What the heck? Hold on, I, I pressed it multiple times because nothing was happening. Well, the game just quit. Uh, okay. Let me try that again. Nope. Also, the magic arrow isn't asking me for the, uh, element. Oh, I guess it's not elemental arrow, it's just magic arrow. Okay. Cool. I'm going to check this again. What is this? <laughs> Control F4 enter. And just once. Ah, I sense that you are the ones. While gathering herbs in the woods near the edge of the world, I came upon this orb. It was lying in a small crater as though it had fallen a great distance and yet survived the impact. I know this object must be terribly important, but I am not the one to take care of it. Perhaps you could take it to Edinger in his tower in this town. He will surely know what to do with it. Okay. Ah, right. Yeah, okay, we're now in... Uh... The other side of Zine. I'm gonna load. That's gonna be much later on. Uh, what she said will make sense when we see the uh, cutscene for Dark Side of Zine. Okay. Why control F4 enter? That's that's a weird key key control uh, key combination. I mean, it's like okay, loading up the other game or something. Maybe it's, no, because. I don't think I can quit out of it. Because I was going to say maybe it's to make absolutely sure that you wanted to do that, but... Hmm. Hello. Welcome, welcome, Pete Griffo. On to number four, you see. Yep. I decided to continue with the series while, uh... I was still familiar... Oh, we need rest. <laughs> oh, everyone's all sad. Everyone's all weakened. Okay, we need to actually sleep. Okay. Did we need to sleep in Bite Magic 3? I don't think so. Hello, you're a big toad. C 
you've got a great face on you there. When I hit you. But... Well, amazing you haven't hit anyone. I mean, you knocked out Eshop, but... Please hit. Thank you. Okay, let's rest up. Can I use this again? I can. Good. I hope we're doing well. out of here the less i have to see of you people <laughs> you walks the better puking all over the place Ugh. there we go you good thank you it's good to hear i'm doing pretty well thanks it was a bit hot today, but uh, it has cooled down a fair bit. This looks... this hut looks familiar. You have found an observation post for the orcs. Destroy? Yes. The outpost collapses in a heat of ashes, smoke, and smoldering timber. A thousand experience. Yay! We found a pike, a cutlass, split mail, and 200 gold. Oh, it's, the, act, the hut actually remains around on the map. Uh, oh, yeah, equip the longbow. Pike, cutlass, and splint mail. Let me see. How, wh how was the splint mail compared to everything else? They have spears, but their preferred method of attacking is vomit. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Why? I'd much prefer if they used the spears. Ugh. Uh, split now is plus seven. I think I can actually swap that for someone because uh, I think someone had Yeah, you have scale mail, which is not good. So uh, Split mail to Grimgore. You can't wear split mail. What? You're a barbarian. You can the best armor you can wear is scale armor. Okay, never mind. You're just going to have to weather it with your hit points then. This game is huge too because it links into 5, right? With it being World of Zine. Uh, yes. Yeah, it's a, it's basically like two games in one. So... <laughs> Maybe this will take twice as long as Might Magic 3. I, I, I don't know. Um, I am already enjoying the, uh, improvements for this one for Might Magic 2, uh, 3, pardon. There is, uh, a number of things which are, uh, nice quality of life changes, and the sit towns and all that are quite a bit more interesting to roam around in. What's this? No, I think I've already got that. Oh, do I have to search? Bleh. Uh. Please kill. Delightful. I'm gonna reload. <laughs> Note to self. 
do not check the forests. I was thinking I was looking for loot, but I found, I found, uh, bees. Oh, lovely, I found you anyway. Well. I wonder what the game over screen looks like. Please, just kill me. They're already dead, you can stop stinging them. <laughs> then they refreshed it with six beam bandage of heaven. Yeah, considering this is like very similar to Might Magic 3, going from this to six would have been a huge jump in graphics. Because six is like, well, it's 3D dungeons. What's this? Step right up this oh. way to the action packed treasure filled finds of the Red Dwarf Range. Oh, hey, it's the uh, dwarves which we were told to check in on. <laughs> ah, bats. To my. How how dead will we be exploring through here? <laughs> Again, it's got a great like damaged face there. There we go. I have played like maybe about half or a bit more than half of uh, Might Magic 6. So I am kind of looking forward to getting into those games because I do, I, I enjoy uh, uh, what they give quite a lot. Uh, I've seen playthroughs by of uh, all three of them, or uh, seven, six, seven and eight as well. More recently, I think Grimoth did playthroughs of seven and eight. And six over the last like three years or so. See this red liquid. Oh, they actually have the uh, colors for uh, the drinks now, do they? Plus two might. There we go. So reds might. You aren't strong enough to open a crate. We need a crowbar. Red liquid. Uh. Plus two might. Permanent. Uh, it's nice that it points out that's permanent. What about this? White liquid. Is that endurance? Luck. Okay. Well, luck will go to flint. Flint again. This is just a barrel. It's empty. Rubble. There is nothing in the rubble. I think I saw something back there and I don't like the look of it. Wonderful. Escarina's dead again. She really needs some more hit points. What? It's a minecart with a face on it. Uh, let's... 
Wait for a moment. Scribbled on a piece of parchment, a note reads, Dwarven travel codes. Mine one, mine two, mine three, mine four, mine five. Get some paper. Let me just toss all the paper onto the floor. Hold on. Okay. Uh, right. Dwarven travel codes. Mine one, two, three, four, five. Just put ditto there. There we go. Okay. Uh, what's in here? Barrel. Empty. Not strong enough. Some doors. Not strong enough. Oh, could I get... Huh. Hello, sir? Mad Dwarf. Oh, now there's two of you. Get out of here. Thank you. 150 gold. What's this bed? We find 61 gold and a dagger. Uh, 35 gold and plate armor. Hey, nice. Uh, though actually only my knight can wear plate armor, so... And, uh... Mazzy already has uh, plate armor. Barrel's empty. Barrel is empty. Um, I'm gonna go back to town. Resurrect, uh, Escarina. And uh, do some training. Can we help you? Yes. Thank you. Okay, so where was the training hall? I think it's that place down here. Okay, let's see. Can we Looking level up? Train? We can. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> Good job. 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 Okay, good. Everyone's level four or five. Uh, we can check for spells, I think. Yeah, over here. Welcome to the guild. Uh, we don't actually get the little uh, bloats about the uh, guilds here. Members only. Yes, yes. Oh, hang on. Oh no, that's spell info. Uh, sure. Buy spells. Uh, bleh. Protector from elements. Yes. Uh, what's revitalized to? Removes the weak condition. Okay. No, not really important. Uh, buy. 
Let's see. I mean, jump could be useful. I think that moves us forward a space. Kind of like uh, etherealize, but I'm guessing it doesn't move us through uh, doors. <laughs> it probably just... You cast a jump spell when you try to get through a door. You probably just slam into the door. Um... I mean, sleep could be useful. Toxic Cloud? Wizard Eye is a map in the dungeon, but I don't... I didn't really need that last time. Uh, we'll get sleep. Puts a group of monsters to sleep until they overcome the spell or are damaged. Enjoy. Uh, energy Blast. Well, that would be like Magic Arrow, except it deals energy damage instead of magical damage. Two to six points of energy damage per level of the caster. So that'll be four to twelve. No, no, that'll be more than that because we're like level four. So eight to twenty-four. I mean, that's kind of respectable damage. Toxic Clown, what's that? 10 points of poison damage. Just a flat 10 points of damage. And apparently it doesn't change with levels, but that is 10 to a group of monsters. Or trap metal. 2 points of physical damage per level of the caster. So that's just 8 damage now. Eh. Okay, so that's like as much as Energy Blast does on the lowest hit. Insects. Cast coats a group of monsters with a poison, specifically specially designed to kill insects. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Is this bug spray? Do you wish to purchase? I guess this would be useful against those bees in those trees. <laughs> I kind of like when Gain says spells which have extremely specific purposes like this. I think I've mentioned this before, but in like Pool of Radiance, or one of them, uh, there's like Charm Snakes, which <laughs> does what it says. It's a charm spell specifically for snakes. <laughs> I just find it very funny for some reason. And there's also the uh, Sticks to Snakes spell, <laughs> where you, apparently you, the mage just collects a bunch of sticks and throws them and turns them into snakes. It's like, wonder wonderful. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah, sure, I guess. Those were a bugger to hit. Um, I gotta get energy blast as well. Enjoy. What's Wizard Eye do? Does it do anything different other than... Gives a party a bird's eye view of their surroundings. The view will appear in the upper right corner of the game screen. Do you wish to purchase? No. No. Okay. I can just bring out the map whenever I want for that. Uh, jump. Puts enough strength into the legs of the party to jump over one square. Provided there are no walls of, of matter or magic. This spell cannot be used in combat. Right. Yeah. Okay. So. I mean. I guess you have to think that, like, the party could be jumping every time I move a space, but, like, I think a space takes 10 minutes to traverse, so I guess they're jumping forward, like, I don't know how long it takes for you to walk in 10 minutes. So that's a significantly larger uh, stretch of land. It means the dungeons. No, the dungeons move at a different time span, so. Outside, it's like 10 minutes per space or something. In dungeons, I think it's like. <sighs> yeah, it might be one space per. Uh... Enjoy. One space per square. Okay, what do rangers get? Cure wounds, energy blast, first aid, flying fist. Oh, it's like a mix. Yeah, okay. Pain. <laughs> first aid. I will actually teach you first aid. Uh, you can learn... Yes, cure wounds. Heal 15 hit points. D6 
deals a light blow to a monster, inflicting six, six points of physical damage. No. What's pain do? Eight points of physical damage. Two more points of flying fist. Revitalized. Yeah, that gets rid of weak. Sparks. Two points of electrical damage per level of the caster. So that'll be eight. Suppress poison. That just... It doesn't remove poison, but it slows the effects, which are stat reductions over time. No, I think I'm going to hold off now. I'm running out of magic. Uh, money. I keep thinking I can just walk through the doors. Okay, let's try this bug spell. They all sleep at night. <sighs> it's so weird looking out there as the stars. No, everyone's everyone's grumpy. Yeah, I, I think those bees just turned up. They didn't turn up because I uh, pressed spacebar. <laughs> they know I have a spell to deal with them, so they're not... Ah, there they are. Get out of here. Okay, that actually did deal a significant amount of damage to them. Who the heck are you? Are you like the Guardian? Okay, let's go in here. This way to the action packed treasure filled vines of the Red Dwarf Range. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's have a look in here again. Uh, there was another door down here which I didn't go through. Hello. Are you a. Are you a bug? Uh, magic arrow. There we go. You forgot how funny the mad dwarves look. Yeah, they are uh, quite a sight. Get out of here. As with my Magic 3, I am enjoying the designs for the enemies in this game. Found a Wakazashi. A trap! Lovely. There's nothing in or under the bed. They found a coin and 72 gold. Plate mail. A crossbow. There's nothing in or under the bed. Okay, uh, crossbow. Can you use a crossbow? You can. Uh, move the dagger, move the wakazashi, armor, plate mail. You can't wear that. Barbarians, no. Mazzy's backpack is full. Okay.
it looks like that even though we've got different uh pages for items uh they do all take up like the same we'd still have an overall limit it's not just like it's not a limit per page Okay, what was over here? Can I close that again? No, I can. Neat. Ah! Oh, sod you! I can't see that! Both seem really potent in this. How many hit points do people have now anyway? 44, 64, 20, 50, 48. 12. Hey, 12! That's uh, four times as much as you had before. Blue liquid. Personality? Yep. More personality. Orange liquid. Uh... I think that's intellect. Yep. Yellow liquid. Uh, that's going to be endurance, I think. Accuracy. Okay. <laughs> Actually, that doesn't matter. Uh, we can give accuracy to uh, Grimgore. Wants it to be able to hit things. Purple liquid. Uh, what's left? Endurance, I guess. <laughs> Speed. Ugh, we got that. Um. Good speed to you. Green liquid. Personnel? <laughs> In, in endurance? There we go. Sure. As it might Magic 6 and all the later ones, I, I like the idea of our party just upending the barrel and chugging the entire thing. Scribbled on a piece of parchment, a note reads Dwarven Travel Code. Hey, space, 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 space. Okay. Yellow liquid. Um... I've forgotten what that wants. Accuracy. Okay, that's fine. It's behind here. There's nothing in the rubble. Cobwebs. I don't like the look of that. I don't like the look of that. Does my bug spray work on the spiders? Lovely design for a spider they've got there. Get out of here. Hey, it's spitting web at us. Ew. Hmm. Gold, gold vein. Who will mine? Uh, let's save first. A cave in! <laughs> uh. 
Okay. Um, does that work differently each time I try? Was that just bad luck? 193, 37. There we go. Scribbled on a piece of parchment, and it reads one bottle of orcs milk. Two boxes of dwarf biscuits, one can of split to toad soup, and one everlasting stick of troll jerky. I like that idea, actually. For, like, an RPG. You have, like, troll jerky. You eat it, and it just regenerates over a day or so. Uh, you could say it's neutralized in your stomach, otherwise you end up with a grob the paunch situation. <laughs> Hello, welcome, welcome, Sugniff. Yeah. It's a very interesting idea. Though I wonder whether... That means that the drying and curing process is not enough to stop the regeneration of trolls. That leads a degree of horror to it as well. Does it still feel pain? <laughs> I mean, it's just like a bit of skin, or a bit of flesh. Nighty gold. I hope you're doing well. You do have acid in your stomach. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Like... Well, wh whether the acid would be strong enough to deal with it. Maybe it's got a specific weakness to acid. Over fire or whatever. God damn it! Am I missing, like... Danger sense or something. I thought I had that. <laughs> Outstanding citizen. Hooray. Oh, hang on. It's under skills. Danger sense. Pathfinder. Hmm. I forgot where it was. The idea is that you cauterize the wounds or they heal regrow. Yeah, yeah. I did like that about trolls in uh, Baldur's Gate 2 where it was pretty strict on you had to either deal fire or acid damage to trolls to permanently kill them or you had to like get a critical hit and jib them um i think that counted as well whereas in uh neverwinter nights and i think later DD &D games they were more lenient on it and uh while trolls had regeneration you could just kill them by uh hacking them down normally so it was you know I liked it because it meant I had to sort of prepare beforehand. It was like, okay, what methods do I have to deal fire or acid damage? I have spells. I can buy flasks of oil from uh, from uh, shops to deal with them, which I think was what you had to do with Icewind Dale 1 and 2. Um, but it never went to nights because you didn't need to. It was just like, oh, trolls, they're just like, they've got a few more hit points. They hit fairly hard, but, you know, you can just tank through them. So, you don't think you can jib trolls in Borders Gate 2? Yeah, I'm not too sure. I was feeling like you couldn't. Um, but... Maybe that's something you can do in, like, some of the later ones, but... It's been quite a while. Oh, hello. Spiders. Well, we're not having a problem hitting them. That's nice. Anything in there? Nothing in the trouble. Okay. Oh, my arrows actually go past the target and hit the ones behind them if they don't all hit 
uh, the first one. Seventy-two gold. It's really not that much. Hundred thirty-nine. Something in my head's telling me that this gold mines might actually give me more gold later on. But I don't know for certain, so I don't care. One gold. Like if you wait, it's giving you like gold based on your level or something. But I don't know. I'll leave one here. Barrel is empty. Barrel is empty. You decided to play Kingmater and the case is badly documented. You spent like four hours with the wiki and the notepad building a character. That one's built on uh, the pathfinding um, rule set, isn't it? I've heard good things about Kingmater, Kingmaker. Uh, but I don't know too much about it myself. I remember some friends of mine were years ago planning on actually doing a Pathfinder campaign. It never ended up going anywhere. But I... Having a look at all the character classes, I had decided on a, uh... Alchemist who's... Who just throws potions everywhere. It sounded quite fun. Unfortunate about the, uh, game never actually getting off the ground. Ow, oh, well. Um, is there anything else back here? I feel like I'm missing something. No? Is there another exit from that room? Over here? No. No? Okay. My danger sense isn't going off or anything. Like, they're not, like, warning me about something being there, so. Though the bat head up the top's moving, but there's no enemies nearby. There we go. I hope I didn't have to write down that note uh, with, like, the two or something, five or something else. It'd be like an elaborate code. The game's fun, but it's brutal if you're not well-versed in the system. It's like 300 plus fates in the game spread across 10 different categories. The individual classes only have access to some of, and often the exact type of fate they have access to depends on a specific character level. Oh boy! It sounds like there's a lot of potential for, like, variation, but yeah, that would be kind of overwhelming. Uh, mine one? Oh! Where to? Mine two? Oh, hey! Okay, we're in a new area. Get out of here, bad dwarves. Give me, your mu give me your lunch money. Scribbled on a piece of parchment, a note reads, Dwarven Travel Codes. Mine one, mine two, mine three, mine four, mine five. Okay, we already know that. Uh, trying to get an overview of what the various classes can end up doing so you can get a rough idea of what you want to build towards and what your stats should be is a massive puzzle. Most of the pertinent fate information is actually available within the game itself. That's kind of surprising. Like, it doesn't have a, uh, like an in-game, like, manual or information book or something. Scribbled on a piece of parchment, the note reads, there are many deep mines. Okay, I'm guessing that means if I put deep mine one or something, I'll be able to go to another place. 
Kill those spiders. You were dismayed to put it mildly. <laughs> if we had a physical release of the game. I don't know whether the game actually did have a physical release. <laughs> it better have come with like a tome of a manual. Like my Baldur's Gate 1 or my Neverwinter Nights manual, which holy crap, those things were hefty. <laughs> I did like them for that, but. Hey. Some more bite. Blue liquid. Orange is intellect. Blue is personality, I think. Yep. Orange. Intellect. Green. That's uh, endurance. Can we open this? not strong enough maybe i would have had someone who was strong enough if i had been stacking all of the uh strength buffs on one person but i hadn't been bats no yeah. night time Is this cloud or world? Uh, this is... Uh, cloud. Clouds of Zine. Uh, well, we're playing World of Zine, but, uh, we start off with clouds first. So. Oh, lovely! She's dead. Gonna reload. Let's, uh, forget that that happened. Oh, lovely. Are you poisoned? Yeah, you're poisoned. <laughs> Great portrait. I don't have a cure poison spell. I do have an item. Uh, let me have a look. Misc. Jewel of curing. If I use this... That doesn't work. Okay. There might be a skill actually which gets you more out of them. Gold mining or something? Um. This isn't where we went entered into the dungeons. Please. Take me back in there. This way to the action packed treasure filled mines of the Red Dwarf Range. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> and I get 10 gold. <laughs> um. I want to go back to where I was. Where's the damn minecart? Here we go. Where to? Help me. Person sick. May we help you? Thank you. Okay, can we get some more training done? Looking to train? Good job. Okay. I wonder if the stores changed any of the equipment. 
What do you want? Uh, acidic short bow. Well, that's different, actually. I will buy that. Might cudgel. Plus two might. Eh, not worth it. I mean, I buy the cudgel for uh, Isha, but uh, she, you know, doesn't need the might. Uh, oh, there's a sling. Uh, knights, paladins, archers, robbers, ninjas, barbarians, rangers. And a short bow. Oh, it's the same. Okay, it doesn't matter. Uh, get by the short bow. There we go. Armor, what have you got? <laughs> a glass helmet. Well, that's uh, a helmet. Not positive or negatives. Um, I don't think we really need anything else. Accessories. Incandescent ring. That's plus seven energy resistance. Uh, yeah. Jewel of sparking. Box of sparking. Okay. What can we sell? Sell the pike. Sell the cutlass. Dagger. Wakazashi. Uh, robes, split mail, plate armor. Uh, the plate mail. Oh, your boots are broken. Fix. There we go. And that's it. okay. Uh, do some fun things in Kingmaker, for example. The character you've planned is a dashing rogue who's massively specialized in charm, which he can use to intimidate. Eventually, he'll automatically intimidate everyone within 30 feet when he crits or kills. And in addition to scared enemies being bad at fighting, he's able to exploit their fear, so he denies them half their armor. <laughs> he's also a crit and still specialist who moves at full speed when sneaking, even in difficult terrain. It's absolutely insane damage because basically all of his attacks are sneak attacks. <laughs> Sounds entertaining. I have heard good things about the game. I should probably... Uh, have a look at it at some point. I haven't actually played any real... recent... RPGs or the like. All I've been playing is all these old ones. Um. Oh yeah, can you use a short bow? No. Okay, you've got a crossbow. I think a crossbow does more damage. Four to eight. Short bow is three to six. Yeah, but this is an acidic one. So that deals... Plus two. Acid damage. Uh, you've got a longbow. Yeah, I'll give the crossbow to you. And you could equip this. Actually, who's got the highest accuracy out of you all? <laughs> Grimgore. Okay, that's, uh, that's fine. Okay. There we go. Oh. Let me just... What do you want? Sell these items which I have. Sell. Sell this. This. And sell the sling. Thank you. Okay. Also, let me check uh, the skills here. Uh, I want to... Yeah, check what the different skills do. 
Because they provide some of them in town, and I just want to see whether they'd be worth uh, learning. The dwarf mines are still being overrun. Please help them. Yeah, we're doing so. We're doing so. These things take time. I'll put anyone on the guild roll for free. Dues will cost 25 gold, though. <laughs> uh, no, we don't actually need that. Where was the other place? In here? Out of business. Oh! A sign hanging on the side, side of the desk reads, out of business. <laughs> right, yeah, this is a place who was... This is a guy who was, uh task with getting rid of the bugs but he was uh for 100 gold enables the auto mapping feature only one character needs to have the skill okay nope we've got that we don't need anyone else with that no that's the uh mage guild that's the bank should probably think about putting my money in there so that it generates interest. Ah, jeez, where is this other place I think? The ironworks. Not back here, is it? No, no, no. None of them are back here. There was some outside. Toad Meadow is the only known. No, no, no. You want stuff. I can teach you how to spot secret doors for 500 gold. Uh, nope, we already know that. Am I missing someone else in here? Down the back here? In there maybe? No, this is a this is a jail. This is the wet storeroom. I need to actually finish exploring those squares. Okay, well, I don't know. Pleasant. Oh, it's you again. <laughs> uh, his biggest weakness is he's super easy to hit, but he's very mobile and will eventually be immune to attacks of opportunity, so he can just run in and out immediately so far as the enemies won't have time to attack him. <laughs> it is an effective way to uh, prevent damage, not being hit by them in the first place. <clears throat> I guess after that he'll need like spell resistance or something. I don't know how it will uh, be affected by magic and all that. Okay. Oh, that's where the uh, dwarf mines put me out. Just across the mountains there. Okay. Yeah, was it one of them giving me pathfinding? Do I have pathfinding on two characters? No. Okay. I 
thought there was someone else around here who would teach you pathfinding. What's this? I am searching for my intended bride Celia. She was tending her family's sheep when zombies snatched her and disappeared into the forest of the walking dead. The forest is so large and the zombies so many, I'll need help to rescue her before they turn her into one of them. Help me, please. Uh, we'll get around to it at some point. Oh, frog. Right, uh, yeah, okay, so that's a dense forest there on the right. Hello, Kvatch. Welcome, welcome. What? How much food do I have? One day of food. Okay, we're going back to town to get some more food. Yeah, the beginning of this game feels a lot more, a lot tighter than uh, Might and Magic Three. Hello, travelers. We're we're sort of hanging around the original, the uh, first town area much more. Rumors? The witches invented the clairvoyance spell. Okay. Goodbye. Uh oh, four. Yep. We're continuing with white magic. Things are going pretty alright so far. I'm just uh, feeling my way around the uh, new aspects of it and all that. What's that thing? There's something spinning there in the distance. <laughs> There's a tent on an island in the middle of the w water there. Okay. A further root. Further plant. Yeah, sure. Okay, you dug it up. <laughs> Do you want to dig this up? Yes. Okay, you dug it up. I got your plant. Hey! Where'd you come from? Thanks for the ingredients. I'll make a batch right away. And we find, uh, five potions. Also, I hope you're doing well. Potion of antidotes. Ah, lovely. Those will be useful. Oh, I guess the snake was following us. like I could fire two volleys of arrows before they get into melee like I can in my magic three. If you're just going to give us uh, antidote potions for that, for these, we might hold on to some of these. Thanks. Will you just give me five more? Yep. Okay. Let me just uh, distribute them amongst the party. Is 
assuming you hit level 15 he'll automatically dispel one spell on the target per sneak attack or guarantee disrupt someone casting a spell okay let's go in here it weirds me out how it like zooms in like that it's like enlarging the sprite it's it's it, it's it's weird <laughs> and the fact that his mouth is the only part which is animated it's just sort of wobbling around okay let's uh oh more mad dwarves Hey. <laughs> this bed hurt you. Why? Because it's nuts to you. Hey, longsword. In 90 gold. Nunchucks. Nothing in or under the bed. I did check this, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, what was that which I got? Uh... Longsword. No, no, no. Well, actually, if you've got a saber... Hold on. Let me bring up my item list. <clears throat> okay. Uh... So you've got a saber. Saber is... Four to eight. Longsword is three to nine. Eh. I guess I'll equip the longsword on you for the potential of one extra point of damage. Oh, and the nunchucks you can... Give them to Mazzy. Okay, what's in here? Oh! Quick! Heal Flint! They seem to be attacking the dwarf, primarily. Oh, great! Now Flint's dead. Well, he's unconscious. No, no, no. Cast, uh... Cure Wounds. He has more hit points. <laughs> Ow! I've actually been reading a uh, playthrough of Might Magic 1. And in that, the traps are extremely brutal. It's like, oh, it's an iron chest. You want to open it? Sure. Bam! The entire party gets hit by it. Gets hit by a, um, a trap and... Some people are dead. It's like, <laughs> we just started the game. Yeah, but if you want any loot, you got to work for it. Okay. Sad. Like Might and Magic One, it doesn't seem. I played a little bit of it, um, sort of just to see what it's like. It is old. Uh, the visuals are quite primitive. Um, I believe the gameplay is much the same as Might and Magic Three, and uh, Four just you know simpler graphics and it's harder um from what i'm reading it does seem like the beginning of might and magic one is the hardest part uh i think it starts in a town called sorpical which sounds very familiar i think they reused that name in one of the later might and magic games um 
six, six, seven, eight or something. Um, but you saw Pagal was in six. Ah, thank you very much. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So this was the original Sorbical in uh, one. I don't think it's the same world, though. No. Um, I actually don't know. It might be a different landmass. Um, but like in My Magic Three. Oh, delightful. Um, the first town has a bunch of enemies around it which I remember, and I think it's got a dungeon area underneath it which you can explore, and uh... That's where you've got to like, take things carefully, like... Because... The monsters you come across are randomized, so sometimes you'll just come across... Orcs, when you're supposed to be dealing with... Much weaker enemies, and it's just like, well, that's how it is! <laughs> Very... Unforgiving, but you sort of just have to go, oh, okay, I'll just reload and try again. Or, you know, some of your party members are dead, so you just have to create new party members to replace them because you can't pay for them to be resurrected. So, yeah, but it, 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 from my reading, at least the feeling I get is uh, once you get past that initial hump, it sort of... Oh, great. Uh, plays a fair bit uh, fairer, shall we say. I'm still not sure whether it's one which I'll actually go back and play. Um, I might have to give it a bit more thought. Oh, it's like a mall. Tiger mall. Oh, it's so fuzzy. Look at those big claws. Oh, jeez. It <laughs> tore Isha apart. Uh, cast an energy blast. Bam! There we go. Let's sleep. White liquid. Uh, speed? Luck. Why is this luck? Okay, endurance was green, might is red, intellect is orange, personality is purple, luck is white, and speed would be... I forget the other color. I, 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 lost, my, I lost my train of thought in my place, so... Don't worry, I'll figure it out <laughs> as I go along. Yeah. Oh no! Bleh! <laughs> Escarina is poisoned. Uh, well, good thing we've got some poison cure potions. Scrawled on a piece of parchment, a message reads, Dwarven travel codes, deep mine... Uh, something. Okay. Dash... I... Or L, lowercase L, maybe? It could be Alpha. They do like using, uh... Their, uh, Greek letters. Oh boy, challenge again. Yellow liquid. Uh... Speed. Accuracy. <laughs> eh. I should just write this down, honestly, but I'm trying to force it into my memory to remember. Uh... Whose accuracy is, like... Yeah. Mazzy needs more accuracy. 
more accuracy. Ooh, a chest. Purple. That's personality. No, it's speed. Blue is personality. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get far more later on. This really doesn't matter, but... Okay, speed. Yeah, I want my caster to have speed. And out of you two, who needs it? Grimgore needs speed. Okay. Uh, read that. Okay, what's in these chests? Ooh, gold. 2,250 gold. Nice. Oh, cool. It actually has the, uh... It, the chest actually remains. And it's empty. That's nice. A thousand gold and a ring. Uh, burglar ring. Yes. Wear that. That increases your thievery by uh, six. Again, if it's the same as in Might and Magic 3. I'm using my uh, item list for that game. So, some of the uh, stats might be a bit different. Empty. Good, 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 good work. Oh great, you're poisoned as well. Okay, fine, you can chug a potion. There we go. I wonder if those roots will respawn so we can get more uh, potions of cure poison. Um... Did I explore the way down here? Yes. <laughs> One gold. Delightful. How much food do we have? Three days. Did I explore down here? Yes, I did. Wish I could open these crates. Okay, that's empty. Uh, I think we've explored uh, this part uh, entirely. So we'll again rest up. Pass light, save. Where to? Mine three, please. I heard people behind you. Did I kill them? Yeah, okay. Chest is empty. Ah, oh, boom. Ah. Oh. A strange feeling comes over you. You are now very sensitive to danger. I think... Didn't you already have danger sense? Because <laughs> you're a dwarf. Does that work multiple times? Yeah, it does, actually. Sure. Everyone can have it. Why not? 
Oh, that. Yeah, right. That gave us danger sense. I mean, we don't need it for everyone, but hey, whatever. Free skill. <sighs> Can I note on the map that that's there? No. I just have to remember that it's there. Good luck on that. Yeah, I'm just going to leave those gold veins for now. Bones in the hallway. Is that because there's a trap here? Nothing here but bones. Doesn't look like it. Oh, delightful. You're poisoned again. Scribbled on a piece of parchment, a note reads, Dead men tell no tales. More gold veins. Splint mail. Oh, your boots are broken. And your chainmail's broken. Delightful. Okay. Right, okay. Somewhere around here was that gas trap. It's right there. Spell failed. What do you mean spell failed? Oh no, sorry. You can't jump over this trap. You, you, you're just going to have to get hit by it. It's just how it goes. I guess I could cast uh, protection from elements at him. That would be an option. Where's this lead? Huh. Okay, over there. Step right up this way to the action. Who are you? Treasure filled vines of the red dwarf range. Do you just stand outside all the entrances? Yeah, I have one job. It's pretty neat, isn't it? Nothing in or under the bed. Find a sling. Dead. Cutlass. It's 
some crates. Scribbled on a piece of parchment, the note reads, Robbers and thieves, take a good look at your fate, should you decide to steal from these mines. Um. Uh. Okay. Oh, low ceilings. Oh, that might be why I can't jump. That's actually a uh, reasonable point, yes. That makes me wonder now if whether how much gold I get out of the veins is dependent on how much luck I have. So I might want to come back here when I have, like, heaps of luck. Reasonable, yeah. I mean, I guess I thought, I don't know, I guess I thought the spell was just like throwing us forward with very little verticality. But uh, hey, whatever. <laughs> Red liquid, uh, that's might. Let's see, you have seven, you have 20. Um, give that to you. What about these? Dwarven travel code. Deep mine P. Yep. It's looking like it's deep mine alpha. Purple. That was personality. Speed! <laughs> blue is personality. Elves have blue skin. Elves are generally thought as being beautiful. Blue, purple. Blue, personality. Purple, speed. Uh, what is fast? Which is purple? I mean, if it was blue, it would be easy, because it's Sonic, but... Perpspud. Bloopers. Yeah, there we go. I can use that. Bloopers. That works. Uh, so speed. Red is might. And more might. Just gonna give you a bunch of might. Okay, can you actually open this now? Oh, you can! Oh boy! Tiger balls. <laughs> can I put it- can I close it again? Okay, I made two of them go to sleep. That's still adorable, though. Hit the wrong one. Okay, so this slot is the one in the middle, I think. This slot is the one of the side, and the, the there is over there, I, I think.
Okay. At the first chest, that was pretty terrible. Let's have a rest. There wasn't another chest there, was there? No. What's in here? <laughs> Electricity. Delightful. Nothing in or under the bed. Ring mail. Nothing. The healing spells seem a bit cheaper. Okay, let's try this again. Flubburn, chainmail, plate armor, chainmail, orb, ooh. Broadsword, short sword, crossbow, scale armor, ringmail. Nice. Here's all the loot. Flumberg. Uh Got a long sword. Is that better than a broadsword? Three to twelve. Three to nine. Yes, it is. And a crossbow. Crossbow is better than uh, other ranged I have. You have a crossbow. Okay. Ranger, you can have a crossbow. I think it is anyway. Short, short bow. Three to six. Crossbow. Four to eight. Yes, it is. Okay. Ought to be a lot bigger. The the uh, the crates. <laughs> you just have to know how to pack. <laughs> uh, split mail. Ooh, hang on. Uh, cleric, ranger, knight, paladin. Okay, so. You and you. Okay, equip that. Equip that. There we go. Did I get something else from that? No. Armor. Chainmail. Plate armor. Mercy's back is full. Um. Chain bell. That can be used by robbers. What have you got? Broken chain bell. Well. I think that's fine. We can just wait until we can go to town. It doesn't cost that much to repair it. It's just basic armor. No, no frills. Uh, was there other chest down here yeah here we go Ah, hello. More moles. Probably try and cast a sleep on them, please. There we go. Oh, the other one. Woke up again. Okay. It's a weird effect on them as when when they take damage. They all they can become like all pixelated and staticky. Come 
light bulb. Okay, that didn't exactly show me was riches that I was expecting, but uh Okay. Where to? Uh I think we were on mine four before. Great axe. Let me just have a look. Oh no! Okay, we skipped one. Looks like we're going to need swimming for this level. That's luck. Luck. Yep. Okay. Yep. So the password is alpha. Right. Just in case you, uh, forget how to get out of here. It's nice that they include that on every level. Kind of want to go back exploring those rubble piles when I have a, uh, Cure poison spell. Nothing of value. Wah. Nothing but buttons. Well, well, you're dead. Another wall which you can break. Uh, let me reload that. It kind of bug bugs me how smooth the animation is for uh, that scroll. It's neat how they've used like photographs in some of the cutscenes and animations um it doesn't look massively out of place it's still a little noticeable
I think the major example of that in uh, Might and Magic 3 was right at the end, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Oh. Did I just cast light? What's in here? Nothing of value. Uh, oh, and we're back over here. Okay. Well, there's clearly something over there. But I, uh... Not enough of my party members know how to swim. I probably should have made someone else a human. Oh, well. Let's check these piles. 30 gems. Spoders. Look, you can only get poisoned once. More poison doesn't make you not make you any more or less poisoned than you already are. Bring it back. His job isn't done yet. Do I want to explore here or go back to the... Where to? I'll go back to town. Heal up, get the training, all that stuff. May we help you? Yes, please. Heal. Thank you. Uh, it's over here. Looking to train? Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Not today. No. Oh. What do you want? Okay, well, let's see. What have we got to sell? Saber, and Jack Scimitar, long sword, short bow, short short sword, short bow, great axe. Got a Flumberg. Four to twenty, two-handed weapon. I do like my single-handed weapon though, because it gives me a shield. Sell the ring wheel, sell the ring wheel. Sell the chain mail. Fix your boots, fix your chain mail. Everyone else's stuff is fine. Uh, you can sell this plate armor. Sell the chain mail. Sell the scale armor, sell the ring mail. Risk. Orb of revitalization. I forget what that does. Curse revitalize. <laughs> I 
Okay, let's have a look at the spells. Welcome to the guild. What have we got? Revitalize, here we go. Oh, removes weak. Yeah, right. Uh, man, you don't know cure poison yet. Toxic cloud. Yeah, sure. Enjoy. And trap Enjoy. metal. Uh, I'm going to teach you cure Enjoy. wounds. And... Teach you sleep as well. Members only. Uh, I mean, I guess suppressed poison, Enjoy. kind of useful for our situation. Enjoy. 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 Yeah, just load them all. There you go. Okay. Did the shop have any uh? Hey, gold. What Better items want? for us. Uh, no. Lapis Ringman. I don't think any of us are wearing Lapis, uh, Ringmail. Lapis is plus two. I think anyone who would, who could wear Ringmail uh, could also wear better because, uh, let's see, cleric robbers and rangers uh, can wear chainmail, which is plus six. So I guess that means it's plus seven, but clerics and rangers wear split mail, which is plus seven. So I guess he could get one extra AC for flint, but eh. Ninjas uh, ring mail is the highest they can wear. There is leather gauntlets. Let's buy those. What do I risk? Orb of holy bonuses. Well, hmm. Eh. It's a nice spell, but eh. <laughs> Leather ring. Lovely. I don't need it. Thank you. Uh, where was that, Misk? No. Didn't I buy... Yeah, leather gauntlets. Here we go. Now... No, right. Okay. That's perfectly fine. So... Yeah. Gauntlets provide plus one AT. Leather, normally... Well, leather for weapons is terrible. It provides minus four to hit bonus. Doesn't actually reduce the damage it deals. <laughs> um... But leather doesn't modify the AC of armor. So it's perfectly fine. I thought, oh, did I buy an item which has actually got negative AC? No. No, I haven't. Equip. I uh, just got ring mail. Right, you can wear chain mail, so you don't need the uh, ring mail. There you go. Uh, right, let's go back in here. We might be able to finish this tonight. This way to the action treasure filled vines of the Red Dwarf Range. I'd skip it if I could. <laughs> Every single time. Where to? Okay, let's continue going through here. Is this just going to be? Yep, that's just the uh, codes. Yellow liquid. Accuracy. Purple. That is speed. Who needs that? There we go. Oh. 
Bam. I wonder whether there's, there's probably like a lead dwarf which we have to kill or something. Nothing of value. A strange feeling comes over you. You are now very aware of which direction you face. As long as these aren't like reducing my uh, stats in other areas, I'll take it on everyone. Direction sense. Right. Oh! Right. The gem down there is giving me my heading, so... I didn't actually have anyone with direction sense, so I didn't have a, uh... I didn't actually have a compass. Not that it mattered. I mean, it's not like these maps here lie, so... <laughs> Wouldn't that be th something? You go into a- you go into a dungeon and the map's like rotated a random direction because you don't know which way's west- which way's which. <laughs> That would mess with people so much. I'm glad the game doesn't do that. Short bow, pike, helmet, cutlass, maul. And A. Yep. So it's alpha. The mine of turning people into dwarfs. All the barrels. <laughs> No. <laughs> Our different species hasn't changed. <laughs> Belt. <laughs> Belt of dwarfed. Oh. Getting their special bonuses. Oh, right, yeah. Then the beards. I'm an elf, they say. Isha says before. I can't grow a beard. As it starts sprouting. Ah. Lovely. Yeah, well, my danger sense isn't telling me about these gas traps. <laughs> Grimcore. It's a horrid face you're making. Nothing but bones. And you're dead. I mean, actually, <laughs> I was like, actually, let me cast Protection from Elements. Then I find out I don't have enough uh, spell points to be able to do so. Hmm. There we go. You know, I didn't mean to break down the wall there, but okay, fine. Thank you. <sighs> I don't think I found anything good in those rubble piles, so I just leave them. Again, I can come back to them later.
Uh, okay, that's up to the surface. Where's that lead? I see what looks like a knight over there. Get me back into the cavern, into the mine, please. Thank you. It's not following me. Good. <laughs> if it looks like a jouster, like from Mighty Magic 3, ooh, I don't want to have any part of it. Um, I think that that's an area cleared out. Where's the, uh... Here it is. Where to? There we go. Which one of you is the head mad dwarf? No, I didn't mean to break the door down, but I guess it achieved the same results. What the heck happened to you? Nothing, apparently. You just weren't able to flip a lever. Delightful. Could have gone better. Let me reload. Did I not save during all that? Oh, I see. They make a pain noise for every arrow that hits them. 
It's not like all the arrows hit them at once. Okay. Okay, here we are again. Uh... There we go. Much better. Out of spell points. Okay, let's rest. We got no more food left. That's, uh, not fantastic. Nothing but bones. Is that warning me about that crate? Maybe. Okay, I forgot that shrap metal hits everything. Okay. Feel like I've uh hit this place out. It's a way back to the entrance. Has our quest log changed?
Slay the king of the mad dwarf clan. Okay, so there's actually something we have to do. Where is he? Behind here? Clan, clan sergeant. Okay. Uh, cast sleep. That did not work on him. Stopped your buddy from attacking, though. Okay. Don't think you were the king, though. Yes, I did. I just smacked the wall. Deep Mind Theta. Okay. Feels like they uh, anticipated that people would try like beta, gamma, delta, and so on. So they jumped, they jumped forward. Was that it? No. Oh, I guess he's on a another level. Actually, come to think of it. Where to? Oh, interesting. It actually auto capitalizes uh, the uh, next less the next uh, word. Actually, Where to? I'm actually going to go back to town, heal up, and uh, all that, and then go through there. Maybe Please. Help you? Yes, heal me. People are making faces. Okay. Again, I do like that you have to sort of go into uh, the building and walk at the Hello, tables and all that. It's neat. Thank you. Okay. Goodbye. Uh, anything in the store? What do you want? Glass helmet. Sounds fantastic. I'm impressed that you made it, but uh, it doesn't sound useful. Wand of elemental protection. Gem of elemental protection. Um, I mean, I guess for the moment that might be good to have just so that I can cast it even if I don't have a spell point. If I remember that I have it. Can we train? Looking to train? 
Good job. Good job. Good job. Excellent. Why aren't we heroically searching for a cure for Dwarf Madness? Um... The way it was explained to me, these are this isn't like the, the dwarves of the maze have gone crazy. The dwarves of the mines have gone crazy. Rather, it's a r rival clan of mad dwarves, which have driven out the actual dwarves who own the mine. So apparently, they're just mad because. <laughs> They're mad as hell and they aren't gonna take it anymore. Members only. Oh, right. That was spell info. Wizard I don't want to know that. Members only. Yeah yeah. Okay, let's rest up. And let's actually get some buffs from here. There we go. Now we can go into here. I could have gotten the... Uh, donation at the temple for an extra buff but oh well we're not actually doing too badly in here Where to? there we go uh, uh this way i bought that gem and i cast a spell <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Oh. Good. Deep mine. Kappa. Oh boy, these places just keep going on, don't they? Ah, big loop de loop. Want to check the body. What's this lead? To a crate. Oh, hello.
Okay, and we're back to this loop. Where to? Hello? Are any of you the uh, Mad Dwarf King? No. Okay, that loops around. <laughs> Spoders. Trap metal. I mean, they're not really a big problem now. Okay, we're back here. Yep. Uh, down here. Okay, more gold. I think there was another wall I could break up here. Yeah, okay. This way. Hello. Oh, you're a bunch of sergeants. No wonder you're kicking my butt.
Okay. What's this? Deep Mind Omega. Oh boy. We might actually have to finish this off next time. If these uh, mines go down another level. Okay, now I've been up this way. I've been down there. Nothing but bones. Okay, we're back here. Where to? Well, seeing as we're right here. Gold there. Hmm. Spiders. I wonder if I can mess with them by opening and closing the door. I feel like there was a game I played which that was possible to do in. Remind you, have I not played any tabletop RPG? Um, I have very little. Um, like back in 20, 2011, 2012, 2013, around then, I did maybe like five, two hour sessions of uh, like D&D 4th edition or something like that. Um, actually, no, probably a few more than that, because uh, some were located in other places. And I've done, like, two, <laughs> two hours for, uh, or, or like, yeah, like, I, I guess around two hours of sitting down watching other people doing, uh, LARPing for Vampire Requiem. I say sitting down watching because it was uh, quite busy and uh, getting a word in edgeways and all that was uh, pretty impossible, so. It was rather boring. <laughs> Seems like it could be interesting, but you'd have to have a uh, smaller group. You've done that, what, sit down watching other people laugh? I have nothing against it. It seems like something which could be uh, quite fun to do. I've done acting in the past. It seems like something which would be fun to uh, put that, uh, put those uh, skills to the test. But uh, when you've got people who have clearly been doing it for quite a while, they have quite a long list of things which they want to achieve for the uh, hour or so. So they have to go through it. And of course, you need to have the storyteller there to sort of take note of everything which they're wanting to do and conversations they're talking with each other with and all that and yeah it's, it's just not enough uh dungeon masters compared to or storytellers as they're called for uh that type of thing to uh <laughs> the uh people anyway
trying to watch it and play it. Vampire La Potentis was 50, more is better. Coming with a to-do list is very good. Yeah, I was a completely new person, so it was just like, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm hoping someone will be able to, like, guide me, but... Nobody was really willing to uh, step up for that. I was uh, kind of left a bit in the wind, which also probably didn't help with my... Uh, with the impression I had coming away from it. Most of ours seemed to be interplayer. Okay. Fresh minions are not to be sniffed at. Very cliquey. Yeah, yeah, I think that was a part of it. I did it! I didn't have a bad experience with any of the people there. There was nothing wrong with the players. I felt, as I said, I felt it was more, there was too many people for the uh, storytellers. So, it was sort of, yeah. At least that's what I remember from it. This was back in like 2009 or something, or 2010. So, rather a while ago. Oh, you're a sergeant. Sorry. Are you getting a bit, a bit tired? They all look the same. Okay, also, let me, uh... I didn't want to... Okay, there we go. Uh... Dual rooms. Okay. Important thing to note in this is that when you change your target, that is true for the entire party. You don't have to uh, swap it when you get to a, a, a next another character. Okay, there we go. Hey, we found some boots. Yours was around 2001 to 2011-ish. Game talks are less internal politic, political, more. Go get stuff done. You would need way more storage hours. New player experience is often repeated with the GPC experience. If you die and come back without a prearranged click of some sort. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, hello. That guy looks a bit different. I think we found the king. <laughs> uh, let me see. Let me just save. Okay, so I want on you... Shrap metal. Can I cast that down the hall? I can, actually. Oh, wow, he actually cast... Uh, he hit me with sleep. That's, that's not good. Um... Awaken, please. Wow. Yeah, I, okay. Everyone is now asleep. That's not good. We might not be able to defeat him. Yeah, I mean, he's just knocking us unconscious. <laughs> okay, then. Well... We're dead. Hmm. 
Yeah, I like that his um, sprite has got a crown. That's something different. I was actually thinking, I actually had like vague memories. Doesn't like the king have a crown on his head? Which, that's really neat. If I can make them go to sleep. That'd be great. Interesting, the music's actually stopped. Okay. It's got the front. It's got the, like the, uh, main, uh, page music. Womp womp. <laughs> okay. Uh, we might have to actually come back to this. It's not following us. Let me save over here. Mm-hmm. Now, if I known about this, I would have been able to, like, buy, uh, items of awakening or something like that. I've got a gem of sleeping, but it's not really what I need. Yeah, the music's, like... I mean, again, it's playing main menu music. It seems to fuck out when I die and reload. Let me try once more, and then I think I'm going to have to leave this to next time. Uh, can I hit you with a sleep from here? Ah! I actually made the uh, king fall asleep. Okay. I actually like this music for uh, fighting. It's quite nice. Oh, no, hang on, he's awake. He actually came around the corner. <laughs> I am asleep, but I'm actually awake. Uh, can I hit him with a sleep even though he's not in combat? No, okay, she can't actually cast because... She was asleep, but it was still her turn, so... I wonder if I can... If I could, uh, drag them away far enough from him. He probably won't go to sleep now. What? No, oh, they're just hiding around the corner now. Lovely. Yeah, okay. Okay. We're gonna have to, uh... <laughs> Thanks, scene. We're gonna have to uh, come up with some better tactics for that than just trying to, uh... Yeah. Interesting! It's actually, like... Yeah, I'm gonna have to be kind of tactical about it instead of just... face rolling things. Cool. Though, as I said, we'll leave that for next time. Uh...
has been a world of zine. Pretty fun so far. I mean, it's a lot like Might Magic 3, but I do feel that it is better... Uh, it feels... Yeah, it, it feels more tightly designed than Might Magic 3. Um, especially this beginning thing. Like, maybe the enemies are giving less experience? Maybe there's not as many, like, objects just giving you huge amounts of experience, but leveling up feels like a slower process. Um, which is nice. Because it makes the individual levels, you know, have more impact. Uh, we'll see whether that continues though, because with Might Magic 3, it was sort of like the beginning was slow, then the mid game was kind of really quick, and then the end game was most of it. Can I place traps? Uh, no. I don't think I have anything like traps which I can place. Um, but yeah, it's nice that sleep works on him. It might be a very low chance, but, uh, we'll have to keep trying with that. Maybe if, yeah, maybe if I, uh, move further away from them. Maybe if, yeah, maybe if I separate them more, is what I mean. Um, that could work. Hmm. Even if I have, like, awakened gems or something... Because it means I'm going to have to spend a turn waking everyone up, but then he's just going to make everyone asleep again, so... And he still hits like a truck. This is where, like, paralysis would be useful. Maybe I'll have to come back here some, time, um, some other time and uh, finish him off after I've gotten some other levels. There was those... Uh, forests with the giant toads in them, which I could possibly uh, clear out. But yeah, anyway, that will be for next time. I'll thank you very much for joining. I hope you join me again.